Today we're going to look at a couple different techniques in creating a sub-base in Ableton Live 8. Um, most of the time I just start off by grabbing an operator out of uh, instruments over here. I drop it into a MIDI track. This is usually the basis of all of my sub-base that I create. Uh, there's a couple different approaches to this. There's no real set way to do it. The first and foremost simplest way to do it is to come down here to operator and click on fixed and depending on the key of your song you can go and google the frequency depending on what note the key of your song is in and it'll be a similar page like this uh, typically you want to stay above 50 hertz because you can't really hear anything below that so let's say the key of your song is an E come down here you find the frequency which is 82.41 and then you type it in over here and now when I play it it's got a really low sound and being the nature of sub bass if you're listening to this on laptop speakers or something like that you probably won't get the full effects of the sub bass you have to have uh, speakers that can carry a lot lower frequency and typically laptop speakers or desktop speakers uh, don't really do a good job of that. So this is the first technique. You only really get one frequency though out of that, so it's kind of limited. You can't have a, a moving bass line because it, it stays the same note every time. Now, a second more flexible way to approach this would be to go to your MIDI effects and grab a pitch envelope and then you'd bring it down maybe 12 steps or so. See, that's a rumbling bass already, and that's just the beginning. There's a couple different things with sub bass you gotta remember, such as uh, with sub bass you want to put it into mono and take it out of stereo. You do that by changing the voices here in the global to one. Uh, the reason you want to do this is because if there's a negative and a positive frequency being played on each uh, speaker and stereo, they can sometimes cancel each other out, and it's just not a, as wide of a sound, and it, it leaves a little bit unbalanced sounding. Now, a couple other things you can do, too, is you can go to your filter, and you'll want to filter out some of the higher frequencies by putting on a low pass. So I'll bring this down to about... 200 and that's probably a little bit high for sub bass this just rolls off all the higher frequencies typically two sine waves they sound really good on big speakers but if you're working with a smaller system you'll want something a little bit more rugged like a square wave possibly it just uh, puts a little bit higher frequencies in there if you can hear that a couple other techniques too is you can go to your pitch envelope, you want to turn that on so you can click on the glide button. Now this glide button will give a real natural feel to your sub bass and you can have some pretty neat bass lines too with the glide. What it does is it slides from one note to another if you listen. See with this off it'll just go straight to the next note. With no time in between. So you turn on the glide function, it'll kind of sound like it's sliding from one note to another. And you can also control the time, which it does this right here. Once you have that pretty much dialed in, and there's a lot of features that you can play with, and there's only really one way to get the sound you're looking for, and that's to become familiar with this and play around, and make mistakes, and all that other stuff. Anything bass... Usually, too, it's hard to get loud all on its own, so there's a couple standard audio effects I usually add to my sub bass. First and foremost is a compressor. I put a compressor on, it makes it a little bit louder, and it gets rid of some of the, the muddier sounds. So I'm going to play a note, and I'm going to start to compress a little bit, and you may be able to hear it get a little bit louder and cleaner.
Not much, but I just want a little bit of compression. And uh, I also want to turn the attack up. Let's see how this sounds. And also the release up. That means it's not going to quit compressing the noise for longer notes. Secondly, what works really good with bass or sub bass or kick drums or any of those lower frequencies, I mean, even some high frequencies too, is a saturator. So secondly, I'll grab a saturator and I'll just use one of the presets for time. And I'll use warm up lows. And with sub bass, you really don't want to go crazy with the dry wet because you're not trying to acquire some of those higher frequencies that a saturator would do with harmonics and everything else. You just want a little bit, just a very subtle. It, usually 10, 15% is plenty for sub bass. So yeah, that sounds pretty good so far. Thirdly, on every track, I will add an EQ. You always have to have an EQ because you can roll off your higher frequencies, your lower frequencies, especially the ones that the human ear cannot hear. And it just kind of takes up volume in your track. And it takes away from the actual noises that you can hear. So on every track, typically, I will put a high pass filter up at about 50 hertz because, again, the human ear can't hear below I don't know, around 50. It, it can't hear below that. So there's no point in having that in my track whatsoever. Then I will go up here to around 20, because if you have really good hearing, you can probably about 20 kilohertz is the highest that you can hear. So I will put a low pass filter on that. This clips off all my noises that are not human hearable. And then since it's, being, it's sub bass, I probably want to bring this frequency down to about Mm, 100, 125, somewhere around here, and turn the gain up just a little bit. Let's see what sounds good. I'm going to go with that. That sounds pretty good right there. And um, that's pretty much it as far as uh, just some very simple techniques in creating a sub bass and getting it to sound loud and uh, uh, really having it, it be low and bumbly and everything else. I hope you enjoyed my very first Ableton Live 8 tutorial. There'll be more to come soon. Remember to subscribe, leave comments, 